cross pass there meant for Van Der Poel. That one over his head into the stands. It will be Osborne Ball. All right. Um, sorry for the technical difficulties there, uh, but we are live now. Um, currently six and a half left to play here. Eight six lead for the Osborne Legends. Yep. And uh, it'll be Bechter with the ball. Off to Dolly Wall. Inside Mia. Oh, great try there. Hit the side of the outside of the net. Yep. Good try though. Nearly got that one to go in. It's Ironmonger up top now to Miller. Now Ironmonger, burst of speed inside, and he finishes posting in. Very individual effort there. Dollywall with the ball. Now Bechter. A pass there meant for Fetchner. That one uh, tipped out of bounds. It's Bechter. Off to Dollywall. He'll shovel it off to Pole. And now Colbert, and he finishes on the near side. Looks like some fans from Ross Shepard bought some signs. Ironmonger to Vanderpew. Now Miller to Ironmonger. Now Vanderpew again. Miller. A good fake. Hard shot off the crossbar. Picked up by Vanderpew. And Vanderpew there coming from a long ways away. That makes it only a one goal lead for the Legends with five minutes left in the first half. It's Dollywall to Bechter. Passing that off to Fetchner. That shot won't go. But that is Osborne Ball. No, sorry, that is a way timeout for Shep. I have a quick announcement here. Uh, in case you forgot, the men's junior and senior soccer shouts were this morning and are continuing tomorrow before school at what I'm assuming to be 7.30 a.m. And all slow pitch charts are also beginning Monday after school. Any questions, please come see our phys ed staff. And a reminder to TOK 25 students to drop off your school form or your field trips forms to room 114 this upcoming Monday and Tuesday. Forms must be in if you want to take part in Fort Edmonton Park's Indigenous Peoples experience. And from the teacher versus student hockey game, the game is on Thursday the 27th, which is next week. This event is a school fundraiser in support of the Kids Sport Edmonton. And a little birdie told me that Jason Chimera, who was drafted by Edmonton in 1997, will be there at the game. So I wouldn't miss the chance to go. This game is during the second block and will be streamed here on LOHS TV during the game. So, and the schedule will be changed f during the day for the game. So make sure you know when your classes are. Yeah, um, definitely looking forward to watching that game. Uh, we haven't had a teachers versus students hockey game in uh, quite a while, a couple of years because of uh, COVID and everything. So it's great to have that back. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited to uh, watch that game. All right, we are back in action here. It'll be the T-Birds with the ball, Vander Pugh, Arn Monger, now Miller into the corner. Big shot there by Reed, stopped though by Stevens. It's Hader now to Baker. Now Leon back to Baker. Hadery and now Pole. Hadery up top. Baker trying to dish into the corner for Leon. That one is tipped out by McDonald. It's Hadery with the ball up top to a cutting pole and a beautiful play there. Ball splitting the defense, receiving that pass from Hadery. That makes it 10 to eight with four minutes left in the half. Armand, sorry, that was Miller, a pass there. Uh, meant for Reed, that one going over his head. Hadery with the ball. Vector. 
Now Leong. Baker. Big take there. Rising up over all of the t -Bird's defense and finishing on the left side. Now that is Ironmonger. So Coghill and now Vanderpew into the corner. McDonald shot stop, but the rebound picked up by Ocular. Good try there by Stevens to make an effort to, to get back and uh, stop that shot, which just trickled in. It's Baker with the ball. Now to Leong. Hatery now. Beautiful move there. Finishes in the top left corner. Legends now with a 12-9 lead. Just under three left to play in this half. A quick announcement here from the IB Students Association. Uh, tomorrow there will be a pizza fundraiser. For $3 per slice or $5, you can get a combo. Vector inside, off the post. Oh, and the goalie's injured. All right, another announcement from the grad committee. We are having a Krispy Kreme fundraiser. Pre-orders for boxes of Krispy Kreme donuts will be ending tomorrow during lunch at the theater lobby. One dozen will cost $16 and will be ready for pickup in mid-May. If you want to help out, you are also welcome to buy boxes for your non-legend friends and family. And from the yearbook and grad committees, graduates, please make sure you've submitted your senior quotes for the yearbook and the night of the graduation in the forum on the Grad Google Classroom, as the deadline is May 5th. Read all the rules and regulations at the top of the forum because you only get one chance to submit the form. And there are no do-overs. So if your quotes get cut, they are out. If you have any questions, please email one of our yearbook execs. Goalie does look like he's gotten up and he will be okay to play. Getting helped by the coach. At yeah, just an unfortunate incident there. That was back to taking a hard shot off the post. And now, uh, as the T-Birds goalie there jumped up to save that shot, I believe he landed on the ball, which rebounded off the post. So It did look like it hurt. Yeah, well, looks like he is doing okay, which is great to see. It will be T-Birds ball here. It's Cockhill with the ball up top. Now Vanderpew, back to Conhill. Ironmonger there fumbling the pass and it is picked up by the Legends. It'll be Pole to Hatery. And now Baker, and it'll be T-Bird's ball. Just Baker dribbling that one off his foot, I believe. It's Ironmonger. And now Vanderpew spinning and trying to get that pass off. But good defense there by the Legends, preventing any offensive threat. It's Ironmonger. Ball picked up there by Coghill. Vanderpew, a long distance shot, rising up over the defense and squeaking that one past Stevens. But that goal will not count. It's a charge called on the play. It's pull now. To Hideri and Leon getting on the board there. Coming in there from that left wing side. Now Coghill, Ironmonger into the corner, a shot there by Miller. Now one going wide of the net. A quick shout out to all the girls and boys on our handball teams for winning not only the Spartans Cup, or sorry, the Spartans tournament, but also the Osborne Cup. Both teams went undefeated in our tournament here at Osborne. Beautifully placed shot there from Hatery. That one just barely catching the inside left post and going in. It's Ironmonger there, good defense from Hatery. Round up you now. Coghill, Ironmonger, into the left wing there. For Miller, that one just squeaking through his hands. Pull, 
Baker. Now Leon handing it off to Baker. And now Hatery. Pull into the corner. Fetchner back off the pole. Long distance shot, and that's good. That is 15 to 10 right at the end of the first half. No one dropping in yet just before the buzzer. All right, an and announcement from the Student Resource Center. Please note that while, yes, the library is open during the day and available to all students who have a spare, you must have your ID card out on your table. This will help us keep the library a safe and welcome environment for everyone here at LO. And as always, remember to keep this space quiet for students to study and work on assignments. All right, and another announcement from student activities. Don't forget, this Friday is pajama day. So make sure that you come to school in your favorite PJs and slippers. This is in partnership with the SSC's movie night, so make sure that you get your tickets in the grand staircase so that you can go to that as well. The movie that will be shown there will be the new Puss in Boots movie. A uh, quick reminder once again to all TOK 25 students to drop off your field trip forms to room 114 this upcoming Monday and Tuesday. Forms will only be in or forms must be in if you want to take part in the Fort Edmonton Park's Indigenous Peoples Experience. Uh, from the IB Students Association, bring your cash tomorrow at lunch for, pizza, for a pizza fundraiser to support the IB Students Association here at Lillian Osborne. P a slice will cost $3, and for a combo, you can spend $5 to get it. And now, from the student no not the student resource center uh reminder in case you forgot the men's junior and senior soccer tryouts were today and are continuing tomorrow before school at 7 30 in the morning and slow pitch trials begin monday after school if you have any questions about these and uh, any upcoming tryouts please come see the phys ed staff a uh, reminder for the teacher versus student hockey game uh, this is happening on Thursday, the 27th of April, which is next week. This event is a school fundraiser in support of Kids Sport Edmonton. And a little birdie told me that Jason Chimera, who was drafted by Edmonton in 1997, will be playing in the game. So I wouldn't miss this chance to watch a former Oiler play in the NHL game. Uh, during this game will be taken part during the second block and will be streamed here on LOHS TV. Jer so make sure you attend the live stream or the game at the rec center. The schedule for Thursday will be altered to make room for this game. So make sure you know when your classes are. All right. Um, I have a quick fun fact here. Uh, did you know, or sorry, did you remember how frequently our weather or how freaky our weather is. Do you remember the horrifying quick changes in weather when it was sunny one day and all of a sudden it began battering us with snow and rain the next? Well, you might not be, well, you might not, but I did. So did you know, even if it may seem like it sometimes, Edmonton actually is one of Canada's sunniest cities receiving a whopping 325 total days of sun a year, unfortunately falling short to Calgary and has daylight ranging anywhere from 7.5 hours in the winter to 17 hours in the summer. <laughs> Looks like Osborne, the half is over and both teams are coming off onto the court. Yep, um, on for the legends there, that's uh, Bechter, Hatery, uh, Baker, Leong, uh, Pohl, and Fetchner. Uh, it's Leong with the ball in the left wing. Now to Baker. Hatery driving inside. Beautiful play there. And he finishes. That makes it 16 to 10 for the Osborne. It's Ironmonger there off to Coghill. Back to Ironmonger. Now Miller. Ironmonger to Coghill with speed. Now Vanderpew in the corner. And he finishes. I want a low shot. All right, a, a quick shout out to the Parent Association for all their help with the broadcast. This broadcast and many others in the future and in the past wouldn't be happening without their help. It's 
Baker now to Hatery. Beautiful move inside. And he finishes. Great play there from Hatery. It's Ironmonger now to Miller. Ironmonger now with speed, stopped up quickly by Vector. Now, Cockhill, Ironmonger, a bounce pass there. Went for Miller, picked off by Fetchner. Fetchner with speed. And he'll easily finish on the other side. Another shout out to all the coaches for their hard work with the Osborn teams. It's Coghill into the corner, Vander Pugh. He gets inside, but unfortunately just stepped into the crease. That goal will not count. What a good effort there, nevertheless, from Vander Pugh. Quick shot there from Baker. He gets that one to go. I believe this is Baker's returning game from the hand injury he had, he had gotten earlier in the season. Oh wow, great Great to see him performing so well here now. In his first game back. Good D there from the Legends preventing, uh, preventing a good shot there. Off the hands of Ironmonger. It's Cockle now to Vander Pugh. Vander Pugh. He gets that one to go. Vander Pugh here uh, heating up in the second half. That goal made it 19 to 12 for the Legends. 17 minutes, 15 seconds left in the half. Fretzner inside. A beautiful shot. Now McDonald here. Coming in for DeVere. It's Coghill, Vander Pugh. Defense, defense chance happening for the Legends. Coghill, Vander Pugh again. Into the corner, McDonald. That one off the bar on the post. But won't go in. Now it's Bechter the other way. And I believe a carry call there on the play. It was a double dribble call there. And it'll be Vander Pugh here. Off to Miller. Conkill and now Vander Pugh. Another goal there from Vander Pugh. That made it 20 to 13 for the Legends. I believe Vanderpew's got a three or four goals here in the second half alone. Yes, he does. He has three goals. Great individual effort from him. Hatery getting inside. And Hatery as well with a, a handful of goals here in this just in the second half alone. He does. Hatery has been playing very well this entire game. Yeah, indeed. Miller getting inside. That shot ending up wide of the net. There was a foul on the play, so it will stay. Uh, sorry. It will stay Shepherd ball. Another goal there from Vander Pugh. It was saved by seconds, actually. Oh, sorry. It's Baker. Pole now inside Bechter. Good defense there from the Seabirds. Hatery. Now Leong trying to go far side. That one just missing the net wide. 21 to 13 with just under 14, 15 minutes left in the game. Now it's Coghill. Vanderpew. Now Miller with speed. He gets stomped up. Vander Pugh now into the corner. McDonald a shot. That one won't go. And it'll be Hatery with the ball the other way. It's Hatery to Baker. A fake pass there. Trying to get a shot up over the top of Akpular. And the rebound picked up by Fetchner. Spinning and firing. That one going post and in. Miscommunication there from the chef goalie and one of their defensemen. 
Vanderpew. Cockhill and now Miller. Miller getting a shot off there. That one stopped by Stevens. Now it's Cockhill. Vanderpew back to Cockhill. Miller inside. Stevens getting a piece of that one, but not enough as that one trickles into the net. Pull now with speed. He drew a foul going down there. Yep, good drive there from Paul. And now Paul, long distance shot, getting that one to go. The Legends here now taking control of this game. But again, uh, the T-Birds are never out of it. What a save there by Stafford, yeah. keeping the Legends in the game. Well, keeping the Legends lead not really in the game. Now it's Leon to Baker. Baker pass inside Bechter. Bechter just stepping into the crease there. We saw Hestrick sub in for Cole there. That's Miller. Stopped up by Osborne's defense. And now McDonald in the corner. Big stop there by Stevens. Ocula trying to get that rebound. Baker now. Baker, a long distance shot. He is really good at getting those long snipes. Yeah, he's a tall guy and he can really jump, get up there and he's got a cannon for an arm. Big save there again from Stephens. Yeah, that's nearly picked off but it's instead back to the other way. It'll be uh, Brexit here and now uh, Baker. Here Quick shot, that one. Tried doing what Baker does best. Yeah. <laughs> and timeout call here from the T-Birds. Great first half of the half for the Legends there. Yeah, we had a... Uh, Hatery, uh, Baker, and Vanderpew both really uh, getting off to hot starts. Uh, Vanderpew coming in from that right wing side, getting a couple of goals. And you saw Baker with his uh, signature shot there. Yeah. And uh, Hatery playing that uh, center back position, Osborne has getting into the action. Sorry about that. Osborne has ahead. scored eight goals this half after coming off of a 16 to 10 lead with only keeping Shep to four goals. I'm pretty sure all of them was scored there yeah. by um, Vanderpew. Yeah. yeah. All right, a uh, quick announcement here. Uh, just in case you forgot, for the third time, I'm telling you guys this. The junior men's and senior men's soccer tryouts were today and are continuing tomorrow before school at 7.30 in the morning. Slow pitch trials will also be beginning next Monday after school. If you have any questions, see our phys ed staff in the gym, main gym area. All right, a uh, couple of uh, lineup changes here for the legends. We have Colbert, Hestchuk, and Dollywall coming in. Hestchuk came in just before the timeout, actually. Oh, wow. Substituted with Paul. It'll be Miller here. Coghill. Vanderpew now. And now Miller, that one going through his hands. The ball now to Dolly Wall. Now Hestchuk. Culver back to Hestchuk. A lot of contact there. A foul call there on the T-Birds. And Hestchuk with the ball now to Colber. Back to Hestchuk. Now Dollywall. Leong trying to catch that ball with speed. That pass just a little bit behind him. Now Akular finishes on the other end. 24 to 15 for the Legends. 
Now it's Baker. Leong. Now Baker. Dolly Walla pass inside to Bechter. Great save there, but the long rebound. Picked up Leong. Now Baker, a pass off to Dolly Wall. Back to Baker. To Leong. Leong gets inside, but that one stopped. Got too far inside there. It's Miller now. Cockhill and now Vanderpew. McDonald a shot. Big stop there by Stevens. 24 to 15 with just under 10 minutes left in the game. Has chucked to Dolly Wall. Now Mia coming into the game. Has Chuck, Dolly Wall, and now Baker. Long distance shot, that one just missing left than that. That is the only way you hope Baker doesn't score those it's if he misses the net. Yeah, definitely, because uh, his shots are untargeted. It's a very high percentage they're going in there. Will be T-Bird's ball here. It's Vanderpew. The cocktail. Sneaky shot there. That one coming from a low angle. One just wide on that there. It's Hesschuk now. To Colbert. Now Hesschuk. Great fake there. Dolly Wall. Now Hesschuk. Colbert in the corner. Hesschuk off to Baker. Quick pass to Leon. And now up top Dolly Wall. Baker, a touch pass, Colbert, and he's able to get that one. To, he's able to get that one past the keeper. That gives the Oswald a ten-goal lead with 18 and a half minutes left in the game. It's Miller now. Vanderpew getting inside. Big stop there by Stevens, but a long rebound, and so it'll still be Tiger as well here. Coghill to Vanderpew. Back to Coghill. Miller, long shot. On one. Possibly catching Stevens off guard. And a nice goal there from Miller. This game Pass check. Oh, you go ahead. This game has definitely feel like it's been dominated by the Legends here as they do have a nine goal lead. Yep, for sure. Big part of that. Even though he just did get scored on, is Noah Stephens. Yeah, for sure. He's made some uh, big saves. It's Baker to Dollywall. Colbert now in the corner to Hashchuk. Dollywall. Baker passes into the corner. No one just out of the reach of Ching. And so it'll be Coghill. Miller, Coghill. Now Vanderpew. A pass. That one uh, meant for Devere, but picked up by the Legends. And now a pass picked off the other way by McDonald. It's Vanderpew with speed getting inside and finishing. That is what I believe to be his fifth goal of the period, eighth for Shep. You know, Vanderpew just uh, playing incredibly well this second half. Pass there, and that one going off Dolly Wall. Will be Coghill for the T-Birds. And now up to Miller. Miller getting through the defense. And uh, the T-Birds with a couple of uh, quick goals, now within six. They used to be down by 10, scored four straight there. Yeah. Hateri to Mia. Dolly Wall. Beautiful fake, getting a pass off to Ching, and he finishes. That's a bounce shot there. Just went over the goalie's leg. Yeah. Getting them to stop that. Manipu, Cockhill, Miller, now into the corner. I believe that was Ironmonger. Shot stopped by Stevens. 
Dolly Wall. Dolly Wall, beautiful move inside. Shot stop, and now it's Vanderpew with speed the other way. Vanderpew. What a beautiful, save. yeah. Beautiful one on one there. Vanderpew against Stevens, and great reactionary save there. It's Hatery now. A ball tipped, but ended up back in Hatery's hands. Now Heschuk stomped up there by the T Birds defense. Dollywall now. And a travel call there. That was unfortunate for the Legends. They had a very bit of offense going from them there. Would be uh, still T-Bird as well here. Just over four and a half left to play here. 26 to 19 for the Legends. Shot Ironmonger. That one sneaks past Stevens. Make that 26 to 20. It's Hatery to Heschuk. That's Cooper Heschuk. Just getting onto the floor and uh, first goal of the night. It's Cockhill now. Shot stopped by Stevens. Picked up by Ching and now off to Hatery. Hater, he passed to Dolly Wall. Dolly Wall inside. Oh, what a play there by Dolly Wall. Cut through all the defenders and snuck it bottom right corner. Yep. Vanderpew now. Cockhill and Miller. Ironmonger, shot stopped by Stevens. Rebound picked up by Hatery. And double dribble call there. Alex Bourne wants to maintain this lead that they have. They gotta stop having those bad calls there. Miller trying to get inside. Finds Ironmonger in the corner. Uh, that one goes for him. 28-21 to 21 for the Legends. Just over six minutes left in that game. Ching, that one. Getting both posts. And going in, it's Coghill now, and now Vanderpew. A couple of new faces on the court. Shot there, beautiful save by Stevens. Stevens has definitely kept this game farther away from being close than the last game. It's Brady Heschuk, Hatery, now Ching. Shot won't go there. That was Ching's first shot that didn't go in this half so <laughs> far. It's McDonald. Coghill. And a pass to the just slipping through Reed's hands. It'll be Hatery to Brady Heschuk. Colbert in the corner. And Heschuk a quick shot. I wanna. Nearly catching uh, Tiber's goalie off guard, but great save nevertheless. It's McDonald. Sorry. There's a minute 45 seconds left in this game. Shot going wide there. It's Hatery. To Lowen. Lowen seeing a hole in the defense, getting a shot off. That one going just wide. Arguably made it into the harder to hit part of the school. <laughs> yeah, that one finding the door into the storage room. Underhand pass there from McDonald, tipped out by Ching. Now it's Coghill up top. Coghill again. Off to McDonald. He puts up a shot, that one sails over the net. It's Hatery now to Lowen. Ching. Back to Lowen. Lowen, sneaky shot there. That one won't go. The other way is Vanderpew with speed. 
And he gets another one to go. Sixth for him and 12th for Shep in this half. That was scored with 30 seconds left in the game. Beautiful fake there from Colbert. Opening up a lane and he's able to capitalize. It's Coghill to McDonald. Rising up, stopped by Stevens. Will still be T-Bird's ball here though. Well, just five seconds left on the clock. Not much they can do with that much time left. Coghill putting up a last minute shot. What a save there by Stephens. Yep. Kind of an exclamation point there on that match. Um, beautiful play from both ends. And in that second half, again, Vanderpew there really shining uh, for the T-Birds. Uh, but the legends uh, were able to uh, produce offensively um, kind of in response to Vanderpew uh, heating up there in that second half. And so they were able to maintain that lead. and. Uh, eventually come out with the win and uh, hold on to their undefeated season. Now, who do you have for player of the game for the Legends? Um, I think really you could have taken anyone on that roster and given them play of the player of the game. Uh, I think it was a great team effort there. It was. Um, yeah, everyone really contributed uh, in their own way. And, um, well, it definitely worked because they come out with a W, so, yeah. I would, I would give this to Noah Steffens there. Made some yeah. amazing saves to keep the Legends an eight goal lead. All yeah, right. for sure. Our next broadcast will be in about an hour at 6.45 tonight where the men's team play Old Skona. Quick shout out to the Parents Association for making this broadcast possible. Also a shout out to Mr. O oh and Mr. Zhang for making this game possible along with Amira, uh, Abby, and Lena. Once again, I'm Zach Jones. And I'm Ryan Zhang. Uh, thank you all for watching. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. And just remember to be, be legendary. legendary.